Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. You join us, we are in the Scania. The Scania. And um, yeah, we got some jobs to do. We need to earn some more money. We're not doing too bad financially. I think we're up to about 54 grand. I did go off and do one or two little jobs. So let's boot this bad boy up. Right, we need to, let's head off. Let's see if we can get out of here actually. Where is the, uh, well, it's over there. Yeah, I went to garage and then come out garage and then as we came out, it instantly dropped us um, at this auto repair spot. We've not done any repair and I don't know if we've just driven through it. That's what repaired us, but we haven't, we haven't needed to do any repairs. I can't see Jack out of there. So we're about to uh, probably have an issue. Come in. Let's go, go, go. So we're just going to head to the uh, that green logistics point, and we'll see what we can grab there. Which I think is in here on our left. By the looks of it. I'm guessing it's going to be bricks again. I feel like it's uh, it's always going to be great. I think my camera's moved. I feel I look like I'm a little bit strange, but we'll leave it at that for today. I'll sort it for next time. So we are going to go with. Hmm. Should we go with doubles? Should we do double doubles? Let's go with doubles. That was quite fun to load. I enjoy the loading, so we'll we'll go with doubles. So in our forklift, I've had a little fiddle with the camera. Hopefully, uh, it looks a little bit better. I just wasn't I wasn't happy with it. So if I can remember rightly, it was. There we go. There we go. It's been a few days since our last little trip, our last outing. So sometimes it takes me a little while to uh, get things right. On um, this one's a little bit different from the the other uh, fork loader pallet truck, isn't it? This one seems to be fine down flat, whereas the other one. When we're loading up the smaller cargoes into the back, the wooden crates, we need to lift up a little bit. Oh dear, what's going on? Haven't got a lot of room here. We need logistics just to get around the warehouse. Let's get this in. Hopefully, we'll get some, enough money today that we can. Well, we've got enough money. We could get another vehicle, but we want to. We want to try and stack some of this cash so we can make some good progress maybe get another vehicle for next time be nice to mix it up a little smooth ah, smooth 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 as I'm recording this there is another simulation game that is, has gone on sale at this <laughs> this week on Steam One, another one that's it's not brand new but it's one that I've wanted to try for a while, and it is the it's the police one. The, not the it's the good one, the American one, not the German autobahn thing. It's like I forget what it's called. I'm terrible at remembering stuff like that. But I might I might I might grab it. So we might see Mr. Farquhar, police officer, soon. You never know. I don't intend to put games out as they're new. So it, it, when I say come out soon. You know, some point this year. Well, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. I've said before as well, I might go back and revisit uh, Gas Station Simulator, because, I mean, that's completely different. There's no realism to that, but that is just manic fun. I enjoyed that. So that should shut shop. Now, will these ones how they're stacked can I get any bricks can I, <laughs> can I just get some of these pallets please as they look a little bit more interesting we want some of them red bricks up the top there let's see how this goes because it is side on from how we've been delivering will this go in will this Will this glitch nasty and try and spin itself round? Or will we be okay? Let's see what happens here. Let's 
Oh no, oh it's alright, it just morphed. That's fine. Excellent. I'm fine with morphing. Honestly, this is so chilled. So chilled. There we are. Oh, the door is physical. Wasn't sure if it was going to be. You never know. It is. Careful of that. going to catch my palette, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Little dent in the box. It's fine. It's in. Excellent. So back in the truck. And now we are getting up over there. What was that? Where's the light? It's a bit white, but where's the lights gone? Let's be gears. Oh, they're on there. That's right. I think that's the one control that's not where I want it to be. But we'll live with it. Because I try and get them, as I said before, I try and get them to match. Oh, oh, oh what was that? <laughs> I missed that. I wasn't even looking out. I was looking down. I have to catch that in the edit. What the hell happened there, people? Right, where's our way out? Where's our way out of here? Our haunted trailer just jumped out of nowhere. Oh, eyes have peeled for any golden crates. Still haven't found any, even on my off-screen travels. Haven't found any. Wow, that's loud in my head again. Hopefully this is pointing us in the right direction when we get out of here. Past the candy store. Is this the right way? We go round and round. Oh, it adjusted our route, but yeah, this is where it wanted me to go originally. So now that we're on the road, uh, thank you very much for uh, coming back and joining me, for those that have. If you're new here and um, you've gotten through my early ramblings, this is what we do. We just chat absolute cod while I drive around in games and smash in stuff. He's not going to stop. Thank you. I feel like the uh, the game's volume has reset in my time away. I don't think there's been an update or anything. Just got to keep an eye on that turn. It's not here. It's the other side of the underpass. This one. I believe, yeah. It's on up here. So we're going to mix it up. We're going to go. We're going to leave the clock running, and um, I think it's going to be a bit of a night run by the looks of it. So it is. What's it saying on there? Twenty past six. So it's an evening run. Sell some pennies. Let's say, try and see if we can do a double double. See if we can do, do two doubles. I know it's bricks, and we did bricks last time. Um, we haven't found anything else that goes in the box trailer yet. I think I was asked um, in the comments of the first episode when it went out, because the first episode only went out as I'm recording this. It went out about two days ago. Uh, we have had a little bit of feedback from that, which is nice. Uh, had a few views on it, which is good. 
they are asking about um, loads and stuff like that. And, it, it, and I've been chatting in, um, in Farm Sim. We play a little bit more Farm Sim uh, away from the channel. A friend of the channel, Sumi Dad, has set up a multiplayer server for his friends. I'm fortunate enough to be one of them. So thank you, Sumi Dad, for that. And uh, we've been having a good time uh, playing with that and doing and stuff. So, yeah, been chatting to those guys about this. Because they, they were querying it. Uh, but, you know, they're a bit like me. They're sort of sceptical of certain publishers and certain developers. So if, when one of us gets something, we like feedback. Because, you know, I'd rather have the opinion of someone that I, that I, you know, I know and that I trust rather than just someone someone like me on YouTube who's just going to tell you whatever. Especially those with affiliate links and stuff like that. A lot of those guys will try and sell you anything, but... I am here for the fun, and I am having a lot of fun with this. I cannot lie. It's just really chilled. And like I was saying to the guys, like this, this is all you could ask for is fun, chilled game sometimes. That's what you want. You don't want to be frantic. It doesn't need to be super realistic. And the thing that's important, I think, in a driving simulator is how the driving handles and this feels and handles really well like i said i'm on a wheel uh, it's an old logitech um, g920 and it works perfect it feels good you have to set it up a little bit in the settings and do things you know as you do but i'm not needing to open up and set anything up in my logitech hub it just works it recognizes and works as soon as the game gets going as soon as i put my foot on the gas to start the start the engine and do the wheel kicks in the resistance is there the feedback is there the scent spring and all that that just 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 happens whereas in some simulators it doesn't and they are considered to be a lot more realistic and lifelike with better game engines and stuff like that yet yeah, they can't get the uh can't even get the wheel to work properly I still feel like my camera is pointing away from me it's, for some reason it's proper on the hook we might adjust that in the next load screen again. Come on, lights. We're not on the clock, but we don't like to sit here forever. Thank you. Also, looking for a little bit of feedback on this series. Would you like to see... Um, more deliveries, a little bit more editing, and so we get to see more jobs done, or are you happy for me to just do like two or three jobs per run, earn some money, and then look to buy a new truck, sort of every couple of episodes? Feedback on that. I enjoy feedback. I like the viewers to have a little bit of control in saying how some of the stuff goes. not quite a democracy, more of a republic. You guys can have a little bit of a vote and an opinion, then I make the decision afterwards. But input is good. And once we've got a few more vehicles, I will probably mix up vehicles um, in episodes as well, so we're not always in the same same one. But I think it'd be nice to work through, do like four deliveries. We did like four deliveries in the van, do four deliveries in the box truck and then um, four deliveries maybe in whatever the next one is, that sort of thing. Because it's constantly earning us money. Uh, one of the deliveries that I did off screen, that was uh, with the van. I switched it out for myself. Just because I was just going to thought, I'd get a nice quick one in, I'll go to a construction site, I'll, I'll grab a um, power generator sort of thing and, and just pull that right across the map, earn 10 grand. <laughs> Here we are. Like I said, when we got in the in the truck, the uh, the audio is the gears, as I should say. Not necessarily the audio. The gears definitely uh, seem to be going a bit better. So, how good can I do this? 
This will be something. It's not going too bad. It's not going too bad. Nice. So uh, six and a half grand for that one. Three stars. We got our 500 XP. Still don't know what XP is about. And we are back off on the road. So over here. I mean, we might be able to pull something different. We'll see, see what the options are here. It might, it may well be bricks, but so we might do uh, do a double double. I think we can switch out our vehicle here. So if I click there, we can change our vehicle. But we're going to go with that one's paying out nicely. It's another one that's all 8,000 mark. And with that, we are back back in the trusty little uh, forklift. Another camera adjustment. Hopefully, I'll be happy with this one. Take these, these ones this time. Make sure we're down. A few different bricks this time, I guess. I so said it would be nice if there were some different, different loads. But I guess the the fact that you can earn money pretty quick and vehicles aren't all that expensive, you know, you can change vehicle every time if you wish, and have a different load and vary enough. It's just I'm just trying to do a few with each vehicle as we get them, trying to give each one its own good showing. Give it a good showing, lad. The confidence in this man. Overconfidence in this man. <laughs> you love to see it. We have to see if the... Uh, the trailer does that weird thing again when we uh, connect up afterwards. I'll squeeze you through. Also, would you like me to put these out a little bit more frequent? They don't take long for me to do, obviously. You can tell that by the way that they're done. Um, if you'd like me to put an extra one out each week, maybe. Fill the, fill the schedule for you. Get things moving along. Uh, I believe at the minute I've got them planned. Like, opposite ends of the week. Monday and Friday. If you'd like me to jam an extra one in somewhere, let me know. It's like I said, the, the first one's only just gone out, and now we're now recording, I believe this is episode five. So, we're, we're ahead. Just that one done. I think if you go for the uh, the double, you get a little bit more space, although you got the more bricks, obviously, you get a bit more space in the warehouse. I don't think when we've loaded a double, we've had that step behind us to worry about driving the, oh, there it is, the forklift off. I found it. <laughs> it's a little bit further back. Then a night load as well. Look at that. Ever so dark out there. I need to get a little suicide knob on my wheel. Make this a little bit easier as well. Like the one that's actually on the forklift. You just tend to do a lot of stuff one handed. Because you've got using, well, me, I'm using, so I guess if you if you didn't have a side panel or a joystick, you'd be using the mouse, so you'd still need to have that extra hand to be efficient. So a nice little suicide knob to help spin the wheel. I've said it before, I'd like to get one. I think you get pretty cheap on Amazon. Does it have to be anything special? It could be any sort of suicide knob for a real, for a real car. You'd have to get a special um, sim one or anything, do you? 
Just bolt it on. Do want to get a callus in the palm of my soft hands, you see? <laughs> uh, what a fool. As I'm recording this, today was the first full day of Gamescom. Some interesting stuff. Watch the uh, the Xbox, the Microsoft showcase this afternoon. Some decent games looking there. Lights, camera, action. Right. Which side is the box? On the other side. Cannot see it. Let's go. There we go, we got it nicely this time. Head back front and centre. Let's go earn ourselves a penny. Oh, way out. Where's the way out? Can't see anything. Get through there. This place looks pretty forgiving, actually. I think we just just drive off anywhere. I know we shouldn't. We'll, we'll see if we can find an exit. Exit around the front of the warehouse, maybe? Not on this side. There we go. We can come out here. Pretty much a U-turn to get on where we want to be. Back on the road. Ooh. Easy, easy. That city doesn't look too bad, does it, at night, actually? It's lit up reasonably well. Have a little look at it. We don't do much out of cab, but we can have a little look at some, whoa, crazy spinny camera action. Yeah. It's all right. So I'm not too worried about this sounds it might sound silly. Not too worried about the environment visuals. because I, I think they're enough to you know be a C. It's enough. Obviously I absolutely adore ATS and ETS for its beauty, especially ATS. There's something about ATS, it just looks magnificent. But this definitely looks better than and plays better than any of the other um, trucking simulators uh, that you can get on console. I did um, just have a little feel and comparison. I've not got it on PC, but I did boot up uh, Truck Driver on my uh, Xbox One X uh, the other week and did a few little jobs on that. And this is definitely, definitely better. Especially with the wheel. I think I've, I've played a little bit of Truck Driver with a wheel. But not a lot, mainly with, con with um, controller. This is on console. I'm happy uh, to do that. But yeah, this is definitely better than that. Like a, it's definitely it's like a step up from that. Plus, we get to do our own loading, which is something different, something new. How are we for fuel? We're good, aren't we, for fuel? Oh, I can't see if that light changed or not. Oh, it has now. We'll stay where we are. Wasn't certain. Have to wait for the, uh, the light over there to tell me when to go. Come ye on. Oh, that's us. Let's go. Yeah, we're right for fuel, so I'm not worried about that. Here. It's been pretty smooth so far. Got a jinx set now. We'll probably have a absolute mirror of a crash or something. But yeah, it's been uh, a pretty smooth one. 
Let's see what we can see out of here. Yeah, that's all right there, isn't it? To be fair, you can't grumble at that. That looks, that actually looks pretty decent. Night light is decent. I'm not sure who'd be out sailing at this time of night, but better play to them. Getting it in there. Yes, I know I'm in the middle of the road. It's to stop other unintelligent AI from uh, coming up beside me and causing me issues. It is a deliberate thing. A lot of the time on uh, on any trucking game, driving game, if I drive up the middle of the road, it's normally deliberate. Not always, but normally. So we haven't to worry about anyone coming up on my sides <laughs> and being in my blind spot. They can't get there, and I can't hit them. It's for their safety as well as mine. And I was going to say, I do apologise if you can hear my youngest son hollering and hootering in the background, but with the noise of this game, you probably won't hear it over me. Um, he's been so noisy today. Little boy's just shouting all the time. It's be nice down the uh, down the night run. It's another auto repair there. I think we had a ding in the van, didn't we? we should probably get in the van and uh, take that for a repair soon. See how that works. need is to get a delivery up in the mountains. That's what would be nice. Delivery in the mountains. Hopefully we can get one of them next time. I'll have a look at the map. Rather than just picking the job, we'll have a look at the map and we'll see where it goes and see if we get something that looks like it's going to take us that way. I didn't feel all too safe up there. Not gonna lie. Hey, yeah. That was close. That was close. The light should be on the lighthouse. Just gonna say. Definitely should have that light on. That should be a thing. If we're gonna have lighthouses, at least have lights. Who's having a go? Who's done what? He's staying put, so I am moving. Nice. Right. In here. Our space looks a little bit more generous this time. A simple ride in, hopefully. Overshot it. That's all right. Further forward to get it in. There we go. Beautiful job. We got our five hundred for the park and then the load in. So that is eight thousand one hundred and twenty, and that brings us up to nearly seven thousand credits. Seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand pounds. Why can't they just give us a real currency? I know it sort of helps you to market it everywhere, I guess. But come on. Give us a currency, credits, creditos. Yeah, 70 grand, so we should be able to buy a new vehicle next time out. But that is going to be it for this episode. At the start of the next one, we'll look into seeing what vehicles we can buy. I might go off and do a couple of little deliveries in between, so we may have a little bit more than the 70 grand when we do it. But hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, come on some feedback down there. Would you like me to edit it a bit more? and get more jobs in, get more money, let me know. And uh, if you're playing this game, how are you finding it? Do you enjoy it? How have you liked it so far? Anything that you'd like to see improved in it? Because I know they're still working on it, still getting updates. 
pop that all down in there. Let's have a chat about it. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, we do have memberships. You can do that. Starts from 99 pence. We've got some farm sim content going out to our members at the moment. Something to enjoy there. Something a little bit extra. Something as a thank you. But ultimately, you guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.